say two o'clock in the afternoon. I was with my sister. I stopped up there on the hill and basically because it was a review and we sat there and we had, you know, a bloody Mars bar or something, had a drink mm. and sat there. We're riding around and everything. We used to ride around these forest tracks and everything. Well, this is what stopped us here. It was this was this stump with a funny looking eyes on it. We pulled up and had a look at it and thought, oh, we you know, stopped for a while. Look, there's someone, looks like, like a gorilla that was standing up in between the tree, in the, in the trees sort of thing. You know, trying to work out what he was and we've got, had a little, little tiny pair of binoculars or whatever. Little, little ones there, not that fantastic, but it was a bit better and we could work out that, that it was like a gorilla or something. And we thought, you know, what's a gorilla or something doing out here? And um, one thing you notice is that his chest, chest part there, hasn't got much hair on it, and it's quite sort of shiny. He hasn't got much hair on his chest. And we sort of you know, saw that, and he was, you know, he's about seven foot tall or something. That seven foot tall, and we saw him there, and sort of standing there, and all you could see was like a little bit of head movement and. Yeah, like he was standing there and he was sort of like using the cover of the trees to sort of blend himself in, sort of thing, and sort of standing. But he was there. looking at you. Yeah, he was he was looking at us, you know, just you know watching what we were doing. So sort of, you know, and I started you know cooing at him, shouting really loud and and everything, and we couldn't get him to to move forward or backwards, but we could you know see that this thing was standing there. We thought you know there's a guy in a gorilla suit playing a trick or something. And so I said, start the motorbike up. It was a little two-stroke, a little noisy little thing. I said, you know, start it up and give it a big rev and see if that'll make him move. So we started up and revved about it and I'm looking for the binoculars. He's, no, he's not moving. He's not going to come towards us or, or anything. But um, basically, we, we, I mean, we could see that he didn't have much hair on his chest. That's how we could sort of, that's how, you know, we could see that it wasn't, the rest of him was all black and hairy and then we could see, you know, there wasn't much hair on his chest. Just black, you know dead black black a bit longer than the gorillas that was what it reminded you more of than, than anything no well it wasn't because the way it would stand it always would stand straight it wouldn't have a curved back or or anything like that just the way it stand it, it stood up like a person you know it didn't like curl its arms over or you know walk around like that so sort of but you would know, you say the face was like a gorilla or more like a human or um he had so much hair on his face that it was sort of like it was too difficult to really know but just the chest was the thing that sort of like gives him away I think is his chest mm. it gives him away because he hasn't got much hair on him but the rest of him he does blend in very well with pine trees and everything because of the, the pine trees and they've got the sh that bark that's real <laughs> comes out so he sort of makes him sort of blend in very well pretty well solid for its size it wasn't muscly, it was just solid. You know, some blokes, you get big, they're not fat, but they're just solid. He was just solid sort of thing. How long in that incident did, were you watching it, would you say? All up. Five minutes or something, I suppose. Only about five minutes. 